uh, it's just demotivating, like, because I was in such good shape. I was in so much pain. <laughs> session day let's get it okay so i haven't done a session a running session that is since i'm actually gonna have to check this to find out let me just check my application so i raced the trafford bmc 5k on the 23rd of july so that was the last time i did any kind of running at pace <laughs> but the last session i did would have been the Tuesday of that week. So Tuesday the 19th of July. Okay, I was really confused for a second there because this doesn't look like a normal session because there's no map, but that's because it was so hot. Oh my God, I literally, all I do is complain about the weather on this channel. Anyway, it was really hot that Tuesday. So I did the session on the treadmill, which was immediate regrets. I'm never doing that again. So to backtrack a little bit, got COVID pretty much straight after doing that Trafford 5K probably had it whilst I did it, but hadn't tested positive at that point. Took a week and a half completely off running, and then I've done a week and a half of easing back in. So just jogging easy runs. I did a few strides at the end of my run on Sunday, but that's it. So now we're slowly easing back in with the first sesh today. I'll tell you a little bit about the session, what the aim is and what the format of the session is in a little bit, but we need to get ready and go because it's gonna rain and get dark. So let's go. Yeah, just a sec. I just, because I'm not going to take my phone with me. It's literally the most simple session to remember. You tripped. See, we should just stay. He wants us to play with him. <laughs> Come on, let's get you session. But I'm scared. Why? Because! What if I've forgotten how to run? You ran yesterday. Yeah, but that was slow. What if I've forgotten how to run faster than slow? Uh, I don't think you can. Oh, trust me. I've been there. What if my legs aren't connected to the rest of my body? Okay, fine. Let's just go. intermission to interrupt your watching of this session. You may or may not have noticed in the previous video that we got a new camera and, well, there are a few teething problems using it for the first time on the move, Daniel using it on the bike and trying to film me talking and doing the session. So we watched the footage back and not all of it was usable. So instead of forcing it and putting out a below standard video, We've rescued what we can and have made the best of it, but instead of just giving you one workout, we've also filmed Saturday's workout as well. So this video is my first week of workouts back rather than just the one. And hopefully that explains why maybe there's a little bit less footage in this first one than in the second one. Back to the sesh. So what exactly was the sesh? Seeing as it was my first one back, super simple, super easy, 60 minutes with the first 20 an easy jog, the middle 20 a pick up to tempo feel, and the last 20 easy. Now the tempo feel is the key part of this, so that middle section was moving gradually into what felt like tempo by the end. 
not focusing on any pace, just focusing on finding that feeling of how hard a tempo usually feels. I don't understand why that felt so hard. I'm not even out of breath. Like, I can breathe, I'm fine. It's not, it's so bizarre. Like, I felt like I was trying so hard the whole way through that, slowly picking it up. Miles off my usual tempo pace, obviously, which I need to just let go of. I find that really difficult to do. But now I'm fine. So it's like, could I have gone quicker? I was in so much pain. Maybe it's just the shock of, you know, not having run fast for so long that my legs are not communicating with my brain and my lungs. I don't know. Well, it's probably because you haven't felt that for a while. Like it's been how many, what? Nearly month? a month, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's just demotivating, like, because I was in such good shape and I have, like, I've accepted that and I've parked it, but I just feel like, just feels like I've gone backwards. I know I haven't, like, I'm sure that in like a week or two I'll feel like I'm making progress again. It's just like, that was like a slap in the face. <laughs> it's fine, let's cool down. Come let's on, let's cool get down. I'm trying to get the good ones, they're all further back. Ah. Ow! She's a prickly one. We should probably wash them before we eat them, because of because of creepy coolies. Where are you going to put them? Um, in your bag. <laughs> Please. Are they gonna? No, they'll be fine. I am not a baby. Please do not cradle me. I will be so angry. No, oh, let me go. Right, blackberries. Mmm, they're good. Got eight left. Half each. Mmm, so sweet. Mm-hmm. Oh, they are. And sour. They're much better than the shop-bought ones, which are like... Oh, yeah. That's sour Like one. ten times the size of that from Tesco. Mmm. We should go down there with an empty ice cream tub. Mmm, -hmm. get some jam. Mm-hmm. All right, now that the dramatics are over. A little debrief. I stuck to the plan. I did catch myself part way through the tempo feel, looking at my watch and thinking, wow, this is slow compared to my usual tempo. So for perspective, a couple of months ago, I would have been tempoing at about 5.35 to 5.40 minute miling. And today, obviously the 20 minutes was a pick up to tempo feel. So I sort of eased into it from a steady sort of 6.30 and wanted to drop down to, I don't know, I shouldn't have had a pace in my head really of what I wanted to drop down to, but I caught myself looking at my watch and it's saying 6.10, 6.15 and thinking, that's really slow. <laughs> I kind of was expecting to slot in at 6.00 and then maybe dip down under that, which I didn't and it felt really hard. But that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, I don't really know what I was expecting. Obviously, <clears throat> I built myself up to be really worried about the session because it's the first one back and that probably didn't help. But yeah, these first sessions after being ill, after being injured, after any kind of break, you have to go in with no expectations. And I think subconsciously I did have expectations that it would just sort of be slower than normal but not that much slower so I should have just not looked at my watch and genuinely gone off of tempo feel. Oh, Tuesday Philly. She was sad. That's okay. Sesh one done. On to the next one. Workout number two. Okay.
again. Deja vu, back in the land of the free, Green Park, land of the wind more like. The wind has graced us as usual up at Green Park. Did I expect any less? No. Am I surprised? No. There is actually a wind turbine <laughs> around the corner, so that really should be a clue that it's going to be pretty damn windy up here. So, there you go. So what we've got on deck today? So, Saturday sesh, it's a continuous run with some efforts in the middle. So, 90 minutes in total. This is basically a long run. First 30 minutes is easy and chilled. The last 30 minutes is easy and chilled. And the middle 30 minutes is 10 by one minute efforts off two minutes recovery. Nice and easy, just easing back into sessions, nothing crazy, no massive volume. I'm not switching my shoes out today to put flats on or carbon flats, just keeping it simple with the normal roadie shoes. And it'll just be about rhythm, finding the feel, effort feel, rather than any specific paces. And that links back to what I said in the first place about coming back into training after sickness, after having COVID. So uh, if you haven't checked out that video, we'll link it up here. Can I run sick? Sort of the principles for whether you should run while you're sick and uh, what to do in order to come back stronger. So check that one out. Oh. 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 Let's do the thing! good this is a very kind feel good session because it's only a minute at a time of hard work and then you get double bubble recovery which is pretty unheard of so I'm enjoying it it's uh it's windy <laughs> but seeing as I only have to face it for a minute at a time I'm coping pretty well than the eighth one which felt really hard because I really needed a shit. but the uh, the system has reached its equilibrium again and I have made the pit stop I mean we don't really need to talk about it it's an unspoken truth everybody knows that it happens everybody everybody goes there and we take solace in uniting in the runner's tummy. Last one. Let's go. Woo! That was good. Much better than Tuesday. I think it was a kinder session, but I'm just feeling 
a lot more positive as well. So, yeah, good step forward this week. Finish it off with a little bit of a long run tomorrow. And hopefully, like, get my teeth stuck into some meteor sessions. That just makes me want more. That's good. It's good to be left feeling like that. And thanks for joining me for both of those sessions as well, babe. Like, honestly, wouldn't have run as quick if you weren't here. Oh, thanks. So, I think, I think pat on the back to you for Aww. literally being my training partner <laughs> this entire week. Teamwork. Teamwork. One week of workouts done. Post COVID, I'm feeling like I'm back. We got there in the end. Hopefully you guys enjoyed being able to see two workouts rather than the original plan of just showing you the one. And I guess it's quite a good comparison actually to see how on Tuesday for the first workout back, I really wasn't feeling great. Probably getting a little bit negative mentally as well and just comparing myself to where I was. Fast forward to today, much more positive, seeing everything as a step forward and appreciating where I am in the present. And yeah, I felt good out there today. I felt happy, I felt good in myself and I feel like I'm making progress. So excited to get stuck into what I would like to say is more proper training, but then I also give myself a slap on the wrist for saying that because everything is proper training. And like I said, you just gotta appreciate where you are in the journey, as cliche as that sounds, but it's true. We are going on a holiday tomorrow to Greece. I literally cannot wait to get away. So hopefully by the time this video comes out, I'll be lounging on a towel on the beach, getting sandy and enjoying the sun. We have pre-filmed and edited a video that's gonna come out whilst we're on holiday, so don't worry, the content doesn't stop. We've grinded to get one ready to come out whilst we're away so we can take a little bit of a chill and, and, and not edit whilst we're on holiday. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna go now. I need to pack my suitcase. Love the grind, bye! I'm not even going to tell you what to do.